Hi, my name is Greg Shaw. I'm here to demo the forward open source project which we've used to convert a uh, progress ABL app that has a character UI or Chewy. Uh, we've written this code ourselves. It's just a little demo program called Hotel. We've converted it to Java using forward and we're now executing it. Uh, for this demo, I'm, you know, I'm going to show you exactly what we mean when we say it's a drop-in replacement. It really does work exactly the same way as in progress. What I'm showing you is completely Java. We do not run any, we're not running Open Edge in any way. Um, this is the converted app. Um, you'll see up at the top of this login screen is just some, a frame with some string literals at the bottom is a, a no box frame that has side labels, colon alignment, and uh, two, two fields that are um, active in an update statement. Um, we're doing this in a repeat block, and uh, you can see our help is being displayed for, you know, and, and just um, uh, it, it is going to call set you user ID. <laughs> I mean, it, this is just the, the 4GL or ABL code that has been converted into Java equivalents and we we are very faithfully rendering it uh, and implement you know such that it can completely replace your open edge environment uh, this main uh, menu uh, there's a header frame up here uh, again no box at a time the, the name of the screen and then the user ID and then this is another frame it's made off of an extent variable and uh, we are in a choose statement here. So that's what's handling the up and down cursor keys that I'm showing. Um, and if I hit the enter key, it's going to pop us into you know the selection. I'm going to F4 to go out. Yes, we support all the condition processing as you would expect to end an end condition, sorry, end key condition or an error condition depending on the state of you know when the F4 key is executed. Um, I can also, we also have triggers associated with this frame, so anywhere triggers. Uh, so if I hit the G key, it will jump to guest, uh, the guest screen. Uh, so on the, on the guest screen here, again, there's the header, but we've got a little bit more of a complicated, uh, many more fields and a little bit of layout. Not that it's that attractive or whatever, but it's pretty common. Uh, I think a lot of character screens we see even have more um, more going on than this. Uh, w there's a strip menu at the bottom, and you'll notice previous, next, first, last, and find. This is a pretty common uh, navigational idiom, right? So I'm going to use the N key to just, you know, kind of, we only have six records here, so we get to the end pretty quickly here. Let me do F to jump back to the beginning, L to jump to the end, P to do previous. Um, you'll see it's it's responsive. It's doing the equivalent of a find to a relational database, though, instead of a progress uh, open edge database. Uh, so, you know, it's it's all that navigation that you normally see is there. Uh, I'm going to do a quick add here, um, and this is going to show you a multi part. What we call, we call a multi part update, where only a portion of the um, fields in a frame are enabled at a time. Um, in this case, we're, we're showing a, you know, a combo box. Um, you know, all the, all the editing you would normally expect is there. Um, now we go to our second batch of, of entries. Um, and if I want to exit out and cancel this kind of section, I F4 and I'm back to editing the you know, F1 to go jumps you, you know, to the, the next set. Um, so this should look pretty familiar. Uh, you know, I'm going to F4 all the way out of that. Uh, so the, the next screen I'm going to show you is the rate screen. Um, this one's interesting because we've got a browse here. Uh, this, the browse is the only widget actually in this frame and the frame itself is no box so you're just seeing the browse um, and down below the strip menu is not done with, the previous strip menus were done with a message statement um, that were well two message statements where the second one had an update in it 
Uh, this one is just, we've got a couple of message statements for the output, but uh, we were in a wait for here, right? And so we've just got some triggers specified for, um, for these mnemonics. So if I, um, if I do an add, um, that will bring up a dialog box. Uh, so this is a dialog. It, uh, I'm going to fill in a value uh, that is deliberately before, so the end date is before the, the begin date. And if you notice, you know, we're supporting the validation expression just as you ex expect in this case. Um, I've got to change it to be uh, something that's after uh, that date. And then I can, you know, I've just added a new a new entry in our list. Uh, oh, $350 for that. That's a pretty high rate. I'm going to change it with the C option. And uh, there, I mean, it's all, it's all dynamic and so forth. I can um, then go, let's see, I'm going to go to the... Um, to the output. Oh, and this is going to, I'm going to generate, show you the reporting capabilities here. Uh, we've got all the normal stream processing. We can stream to a child process, for, you know, printing or what have you, or to a file, of course. Um, I'm going to just do it to the terminal. So um, this is a logical, um, a logical field. So it's got a format phrase that's floor slash room rate or whatever it was. Let's see. Um, yeah, room type, sorry. But I'm going to do it by floor. Here's a toggle box. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to F1 and choose terminal. And here we, here we go with a report. Of course, this can go out to a file system, but we're just going to the terminal in this point. Um, and you see this is a down frame. And uh, in fact, this, uh, this is, we're using at base fields and um, this is a multi-table for each. So for each floor, each room type, each rate, I think is what it is. And we've got a break by. Uh, and on the last of that break by, we, we write the current rate in here using the at base field. Um, and we handle all the down processing, implicit and explicit, uh, as you would normally expect. Um, so, I mean, our reporting and stream processing is, is very, very thorough. Um, the net of it is I don't want to, um, I, can, I can keep going uh, much more extensively, but the, the, key, the key here is that um, this, and this is all Java, this, we, we can re fully replace the open edge environment. Uh, if you've got a, a character mode or Chewy application, we can handle it. It's, it is going to run really well in Java. Thanks for your time. Um, head to beyondabl.com for more details.